Hey guys, I'm back today for Your Next Stamps blog, host, blog hop. I am guest designing for them for this month. This is the Merry Mouse Eve stamp, which is a part of their October release. It is so cute. Here I am taking a piece of Bristol Smooth cardstock and I'm inking it up with my Versafine Onyx Black ink. I'm going to be using my Zig markers to color in this image. So while I'm coloring in the image, I'm going to give you details about the blog hop. It starts today, the October 7th, and ends October 10th at midnight Eastern Time. The winners will be announced on the Your Next Stamp blog, and the prize is a $25 Your Next Stamp gift certificate. And I will have the link below to their blog, their store, as well as my blog. And when you go to my blog, you can hop along. Um, the video is just an extra little thing. I like seeing the card actually made instead of a bunch of steel pictures. Still pictures, not steel. <laughs> um, so you want to go to the blog, my blog, if you want to participate in the blog hop, and then you will get the links to the other blog participants. Anyway, back to the card. I am using my zig markers, like I said. I sped this up quite a bit. I'm doing pretty much some simple coloring. This is Bristol Smooth cardstock, so I am using my zigs to blend the colors, not water. I love this little mouse. It's like he's waiting for Santa Claus. It is so sweet. Once I'm done coloring, I do fussy cut the image out. I wanted to create a night scene outdoors, obviously, being this is the chimney, um, with a moon as if he was really waiting for Santa to show up. I use a light gray to color the snow and then use a zig blender to blend it out so it's not such harsh lines. This bottom area I do, but I actually end up covering that up. At the time of doing this video and scheduling it to post, I do not have the links to their products, but I will link you to the store um, under new releases. So if you click that link, <clears throat> it'll take you to the new release, all of the new releases, and you'll be able to find this stamp there. I'll include the name of the stamp below. So here I have taken some post-it tape, <clears throat> excuse me, and I die cut out a circle of the post-it tape to mask off my moon. And then I am taking my regular Distress inks. This is Hickory Smoke that I am ink blending around the moon. And then I bring in Black Soot to ink, uh, to blend the rest of the card out. I wanted the area around the moon to obviously be lighter to give the illusion that the moon is shining. Um, I've said this before, I really think I need to get some reinkers for my Distress ink. They're over a year old and I use them quite often and I'm thinking they're, they're going pretty dry. So I'm going to remove my mask and to kind of make it look more realistic, I'm taking Pumice Stone Distress ink and I'm going to shade in some of the areas of the moon. just to give it a more realistic look and also some texture. Once I'm done with that, I will take some more Bristol Smooth cardstock and I will create snowy hills. Oh, before I do that, I take some Distress Picket Fence ink, and this works perfect. It's the only white that I have used 
that stays white when I want to create splatter. However, it takes forever and a day to dry and I didn't want to wait so I kept going making the card and I ended up smearing some areas and dulling it out. So once I adhere my snow hills, you'll see me and I'll point it out then, I dab up a lot of the white splatter and I add water and since distress inks react with water it created some some spots that could resemble snow. It's not as good as the white but it worked out fine. So I had the one snow hill and I'm like mm, I don't want that bottom portion of the snow from the brick uh, from the fire uh, from the chimney to show up so I added another snow hill and I was going to layer it up a bit that way I could completely hide it and it looked natural <laughs> as natural as this sweet little image can look <laughs> I'm so excited to be part of their release again this month, um, especially for their holiday release. They have some adorable stamps. I have another stamp set I'm going to be working with. Actually, I actually have a couple more that I'm really excited to share with you guys. So I go ahead and stick my little fire, um, I keep wanting to call it a fireplace, goodness, chimney into the sand, sand dunes. Oh Lord, maybe I should redo this voiceover. I stick my little chimney into the snow hills, snow dunes, is that such a thing? And go ahead and put some foam tape in some areas that needed a little bit more support, I felt. These are actually mini Stampin' Up! dimensionals. That worked perfectly. And here I am dabbing up the white. I'm like, forget this. I'm tired of smearing it. And then here I spray some water. I let it sit. And while it's sitting, I take my Spectrum Noir Clear Glitter Overlay Pen and I add glitter on my sand. Oh my gosh, I said it again. Snow Hills. I wanted this to appear as if it was the roof of a house that was covered in snow. And obviously this was the chimney. And um, adding the sparkle. Snow to me really does sparkle at night when the moon is out. Um, so I thought that was a nice touch. So I go ahead and add some tape adhesive because I didn't want to flip over my card panel since it was already had several layers to it. So I adhere that to my black card base. And then I go ahead and take a piece of black cardstock to heat emboss my sentiment that comes with this stamp. And it says sending you warm greetings this holiday season using white embossing powder. It's just a Recollections white embossing powder. The black cardstock is Recollections as well. Both purchased from Michaels since that's their brand. Go ahead and heat that up, trim it up, and then I take a piece of scrap fun foam I had. I use some double-sided tape to adhere the fun foam to this panel or this sentiment strip and then I'll use the same double-sided tape to adhere my sentiment to the card. So if you are interested in participating in the blog hop and being entered for a chance to win, please go to my blog for all the details. I will list everything there, all the supplies I have used, as well as your next stamps store link will be listed below. I hope you guys enjoyed this card and stay tuned in the coming days. I will be featuring two more cards with two different stamp sets as part of the October release for your next stamp. So I'll catch you guys next time. Bye!